guys welcome back okay so I decided I wanted to kind of go through my liquid or cream eyeshadows and do some decluttering because I'm like I never use them I really really need to use them and some I've had for so long that I just assume they're probably going to be dried out or you know need to be trashed or whatever so I decided to go through swatch them all and see if I can get rid of any but as I was looking at them I'm realizing that I probably won't be doing that much decluttering <laughs> but since I'm gonna go through and swatch them all anyways I feel like I may as well go ahead and share them with you guys just in case you're interested in picking up some new liquid or cream shadows to try out um with me doing that kind of like two shadow look the other day it just kind of reminded me hey you have a lot of cream and liquid shadows that you could use on your lid if you just throw a mat in the crease and then pop that on your lid and you're done so that's how i got here today <laughs> so what i'm going to do is just go through swatch them all if i feel like i need to declutter one then i will if not, then I'll just go ahead and put it back. But some of these, you guys know, my vision, even with my glasses, is not that great. So if I can't read the name, I will try and keep them in order so I can just put it on the screen. Or I'll just try and, you know, show you guys so you can see the name. But that's what I'm going to do today. Um, enough yakking. I'm going to start out with these J-Cat 3D eye toppers. Now these I've had for a long time. And they don't look like they're dried out or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and see what the deal is. This one looks like it's called Viridian. Oh, that is really pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see just how gorgeous that is, but that is really, really pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna see if I can shift this light a little bit and see if I can get a better shot for you guys. Okay, I think that is showing maybe a little bit better. Very, very pretty. So this next one is called Pinch Me Peach. This next one is called Wink Tink. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, oh that's pretty. can't quite read the name on that one. It's so something. You guys can probably read it. The only thing I don't really like about with these applicators is they're not the easiest to use on your lid. So I would pretty much just take the applicator and use a brush to get some of the product off. But that is that color. And these all seem like they're nowhere near drying out, so. This one is called Unicorn Hype. Oh, that's pretty. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Ooh, that's pretty. Can't really need read that name. It looks like Azul Turquoise. Oh, this one feels like it's drying out. And I can tell that one is really pretty. Oh yeah, this one is drying out. But you can kind of see the shade on that is so, so pretty. But I think I'm gonna have to toss that one because it's dry. Okay, so those are all of the J-Cat 3D toppers that I have. As you can see, they are so, so gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of my Stila's now. Now, Stila's are absolutely beautiful, and I never use mine. This one here is Smoldering Satin. Oh my goodness. 
Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. This one is Mint Myth. Yo. <laughs> I definitely need to use that. Oh my gosh. So pretty. What am I doing with my life? This one is Jezebel. And I think some of the smaller ones that I have are shimmery but not necessarily as you know like multi-chrome oh my goodness that is crazy that's pretty jezebel this is kitten seems like i've heard people talking about kitten a lot like maybe it's a favorite. Oh yeah, I can see that being a favorite because it's just like a really simple, beautiful, shiny lid color. So that was Kitten. This is Diamond Dust. I know a lot of people talk about this as well. I've used this one before. This one is just a gorgeous, to me, it has kind of like more of a green look to it, but it really does look like diamond dust. This one is called Smoky Storm. That one is very, very pretty as well. Kind of more of like a brown tone earthy gold and the last stila that i have is called is that pigel <laughs> pigele i don't know pigel <laughs> anyways this is the last color that i have and this is gorgeous this is more like a satin just like a um, burgundy satin shade. Oh, that's pretty. You see that? Oh, that's gorgeous. I know I butchered that name. Next, I have one here from Pure. I'm pretty sure I got this for free at BeautyCon, if not last year, the year before. Um, I definitely can't read the name on this, so I'll have to put it on the screen super tiny well that's gorgeous that's pretty it's really reminiscent of some of the Stila shadows it has kind of like a rose gold tone to it very very pretty yeah so this was just a little tiny one that I got from pure Okay, let's go ahead and swatch these two highlights from BH Cosmetics. Now these are gorgeous. So, so pretty. Yeah, honey, I can't read the name on that either. It's too small. But this is a very, very bold kind of turquoise blue. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of like a sea foam blue green shift oh, I don't know if that's shifting for you guys but it is so pretty oh yeah this here oh my goodness now that I don't know can you guys see that shift that purple and turquoise shift oh my goodness Oh, that is gorgeous. And y'all know BH Cosmetics be having sales all the time, okay? So let's see, I have these four over here, a couple of Profusion, a Nika K, and a Cover FX. Let's do this Cover FX. So this is kind of like a really pretty 
holographic pinky lavender shade, I think. So gorgeous. What's the name on this? Amethyst. And I'm pretty sure I got this in like a boxy charm or something because I know I didn't buy it. They're good for putting cover effect stuff in our boxes, but the products are usually really, really good. So, yeah, that's pretty. Really pretty. And it's nice and smooth, too. Now, this one here is Radiant Liquid Eyeshadow from Nika K. So, I'm pretty, I know that I got this out of my local beauty supply. This one is called Earthly Bronze. And if I'm remembering correctly, this mug is gorgeous. And this one has a brush applicator as opposed to, you know, the doe foot kind. Y'all have to excuse my struggle swatching because I'm actually swatching with my left hand <laughs> instead of my right today. Ooh, do you see that bronze? Oh my goodness. Do you see that bronze? That is gorgeous. Ooh, child. Yes, that is pretty. I definitely need to use this expeditiously, okay? This one, oh, I thought I had two profusion. I only have one profusion? This is from Milani. So this is one of the Milani, you know, um, hypnotic lights eyeshadows and this one is called starlight this one is really pretty but i feel like uh, i don't really like the consistency of it it's like it's too liquidy you know and if i'm like putting this on my eyelid you see how it's kind of streaky i mean the color is gorgeous but it's very streaky but the final result is like this kind of lavender multi-chrome type of situation. I don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah, it has kind of a lavender, a lavender um, shift to it. Yeah, but the consistency, it's like, it's like it's a little bit too liquidy for me, like too liquidy. It's not creamy enough to get a nice, even, smooth finish. Okay, and this is the only perfusion I have, I guess. This is one of their metallic liquid eyeshadows in the shade Gilded. And this is gorgeous. I'm hoping you guys can see it better than I can with these swatches. But it's like a really light green... Um, I'm all over the place. It's a really light green shimmery shadow. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna see how many I can get on my arm before I, <laughs> I have to wash it off. Okay, so I have a few here. Well, just a couple from ColourPop. And these are some of the ColourPop Supernova shadows. I don't even know if they still sell these. I bought these a long time ago. This one is in the shade Dragon. Yeah. Beautiful bronze shade. Let's see if I can get closer. Okay. So yeah, that is Dragon. And this one is Firecracker. I'm so surprised that more of these shadows are not completely dried out because I've had them for quite a while. So I have to give them props for not drying out. So yeah, that one is Firecracker. It has more of like a burgundy kind of fuchsia tone to it, if you can see that. I'm trying to move around so you guys can see the, the shimmer. And then also see it, you know, when it's not extremely reflective. Yeah, those are both still good. 
I have this one here from e.l.f. This is in the shade Rose Gold. Whoa. I was not expecting that from e.l.f. <laughs> I don't know why. e.l.f., you know, they be doing their thing sometimes. It's not as shiny and reflective as some of the other ones, but it is definitely very smooth and very opaque. That's really pretty. Okay, Elf. Okay, this one is from Pixie. I got this when I was at BeautyCon, and oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see how gorgeous that is through the tube, but she is pretty. Yeah, I can't see the name. What is this? Passion Light? It looks like Passion Light. If that's wrong, I'll put it on the screen. Yes, but this is so gorgeous. Now with Pixie, they have the nice kind of bold base, but it has glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that. So it has the base and then there's the gorgeous shimmery glitter in there. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Now this is one that I actually got off of AliExpress. <laughs> this is just says liquid eyeshadow, waterproof and lasting. I don't know what color this is. This is from a brand called Shan Levy. And yeah, it doesn't have a color or anything. I think it used to have a sticker that's missing, but let me go ahead and swatch it since it's in my collection. And this, if I recall correctly, is like a really, really pretty kind of like gunmetal gray. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Even though I can't remember the name or the number, look at that. If you are doing like a smoky eye look or a gray eye look, oh Lord have mercy. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that shine. Okay, since I'm pretty much at my <laughs> elbow, I think I'm gonna start swatching some right here. And the only ones I have left are these um, Revlon. And these are the Photo Ready Eye Arts. So all of these have uh, one side that has a cream shadow. And then this side has a glitter with a little brush applicator. So you can use either one by itself or you can put down the cream base and then put glitter on top of it. So I'll just swatch these right quick so you can see these. And these are so old that some of the stickers are missing as well. This is kind of like a golden bronzy type one. So I think they still sell these. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the, have the name for this one. Maybe I can look it up. If I find it online, then I'll go ahead and put it on the video. So this is what this one looks like. I'm going to swatch it over here. Oh my goodness, these are so creamy and satiny, and it's like such a smooth, even application. Yeah, you can see that better. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, very, very nice. I'm not going to swatch the glitter because, you know, you can see what the glitter looks like and I don't want to have to get all that glitter off of my arm. So this one is in the shade 120 and it's a really pretty kind of like midnight or navy type blue. I don't know. It might even have like a little bit of a hint of purple to it. I'm hoping this one isn't dried out because this one is gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, she's not dried out. And she is just like a gorgeous, gorgeous satin blue. You see that? Oh, gorgeous. How many times can I say gorgeous, you guys? Pretty. This one doesn't have the sticker on it either. Sorry about that. But it's just a really pretty kind of like turquoise teal shade.
this is the shade 110. It's like a really pretty, kind of like lavender gray. So that's what she looks like. And with these, you do want to let them dry on your lid, you know, cause they will transfer. If you have hooded eyes like I do, you gotta make sure and let them dry. And so this is what the glitter looks like for this one. Next, we have here an actual lavender shade. This one is 020. Oh, she's bright. Very, very bright. This one here is just like a gorgeous, to me, it's a cross between like. I don't know, like an army and a mint green. Very, yeah, very pretty. And that's what the glitter looks like. The glitter is like a gold green. That color is really, really pretty. And lastly here, I have one that's kind of like, I would say gold, but it's not a super bold gold, you know what I mean? It's not really a rose gold. What number is this? This is number 100, so it's just kinda, I don't know, you see it. It's like that wedding, <laughs> wedding gold. Champagne, that's what I'm trying to think of. Champagne gold. That's pretty. So that's it, you guys. These are all of my liquid eyeshadows. And <laughs> this is why I won't buy any more. If you ever see me talking about some or, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous, I need to get them. Just say, you know what, KK, knock it off. Because you have a whole bunch of cream liquid shadows that you don't use. So I think I have a very nice collection going on here. These are pretty and yeah, I am not looking to buy any more since I'm not able to declutter any. <laughs> I think I declutter one because it was drying out, but yeah, so just running my fingers over these. These are the J Cats. So, you know, they're dry now. They're not moving at all. These, what are these? Are these the Stila's? Yeah, okay, so these are the Stila's right here. The Stila's, so they're really not moving. Really not moving. I might, you know, they have glitter in them, so the glitter is kind of transferring onto my finger, but that's to be expected if I'm rubbing them. But other than that, those aren't moving either. These are what some of the BH Cosmetics, the Nika K, um, what else? The Color Pops are on here. So, okay. So those are doing good as well. Those aren't moving. I'm just getting glitter all over my fingers though <laughs> from the Stila's. But yeah, they're not moving, not transferring. Wow, look at that. Not moving, not transferring, and they're all dry. That is really, really cool that I can just do that. And it's like all I have on my fingers is glitter. So that is really cool. And then these up here, um, they're, they're basically dry. Yeah, they're basically dry. See that blue's not moving, that copper's not moving, that turquoise, that gray, lavender, green. This one I just put on so I could see it still a little bit. Yeah, that one's still a little bit tacky. But going by these here, yeah, they're not moving, so that is really nice to know, okay? Nice little test of that as well. So anyways, those are all my liquid shadows, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me while I swatched them. Didn't get to declutter any, but I guess that's a good thing. I need to use them, though, before they start drying out. So thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!